But anyway, you want to listen to your fingers and make sure they sound the same or work on to getting them to sound the same. So uh, it should get to the point to where if I weren't watching you, I shouldn't be able to tell if you're just using your first finger or your second or alternating in between. Get them to sound as close as you can. So spend some time just doing that, what I was doing, and really listening to it. And if you okay. hear like a wide fluctuation, especially if it's a consistent fluctuation, like the second finger is like going ding dong, ding dong, kind of. Because right there, that's good. That's good. That's excellent. But I can, even when I'm playing, I can, a lot of times I'll. I hear the difference in there. Right. As you hear differences, try to make adjustments, and when they start to sound the same, remember kind of what that is and what that feels like and, and, and work to get back to that place every time you feel it drift. Yep. And, again, this is just muscle memory stuff that will, over time, come together. You know, but it's also, yep. it, it makes it work quicker if, if you're aware of it. So, you know, as you yep. hear stuff, you know. Correct it and right. adjust it. But then again, you don't want to go too far and always be correcting every time you hear stuff. Sometimes you want to forget about that and focus on your, your hands, you know, okay. on your left hand. Then your right hand is going to, like, you know, kind of go back to what it's used to. So it's going to be this back and forth thing that you're going to go in different areas. And that's okay. just a natural way of, of the way things develop here. So there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right, so basically um, the things that I heard that you want to – spend some time on is that getting the fingers to sound the same you know and, yeah. and more of what i was hearing than anything else was a nail nail getting yeah in there. all right it's kind of a downward pull into the base you're not really pulling up but the thing yeah. about the downward pull is you don't want the joints to collapse in the fingers what's real important here is that the joints don't buckle backwards like this that you keep this type of curve as the finger you know crosses the string right. because if you let it buckle the energy of that pull dissipates out the joint as opposed to being directed out of the tip of the finger into the string so you get a lot more power with less effort if you keep tension in those joints right but it's still kind okay. of a downward i'm still kind of pulling down a better angle here i'm still kind of pulling down And also getting back to that floating thumb thing, right. even with all the strings on the space, my hand basically operates the same as it does on the C string. The main thing about not getting on the cliff of the pickup is that you don't want a jerky motion of the hand like jumping, getting on and off of it. But if that lip is like real shallow, which it looks like it is, yeah. that may be fine. Just let, it just, sit on the, just let it sit on that lip when you're on the E string. And then as you go to the A string, make sure the thumb comes up and, and is then resting on the E as you're playing yeah. on the A. Even if you so. even if you had a soap bar pickup like you did before, it would still uh, you'd still be dealing with that getting like Because sitting. there's that right, exactly. Gap to pop up. So yeah. you know, you just kinda learn to let it just kinda hit it and it'll just kinda kinda roll up there. But as you're playing on the higher strings, just make sure the thumb's lying flat on all the strings. To mute them. Which you're talking about the higher. You're talking about the higher strings ringing while you're going down on the lower. Yeah. What? Yeah. When you're right, going. This, down what takes lower. care of that is the first finger. All right. Now, um, when I'm I'm playing on the bass, basically I don't want my first finger up like this to where there's space in between the first finger, this one, and the strings. What I do is I bring the hand down just a little bit so that that first finger maintains a curl but it also contacts all the higher strings when I'm playing on the lower ones. So as I come down, see, it's lying over all the higher ones here. Uh, and that's what keeps your higher ones quiet while you're playing on the lower ones. What okay. keeps the lower ones quiet while you're playing on the higher ones is the thumb Should going come. up this way. So when you're going up this way, the thumb it's a thumb's job to keep it quiet. When you're coming down, it's the first finger's job to keep it quiet here. Okay, because that's what I was wondering. I was wondering what keeps them quiet from ringing on the way up. But 
So as you go down, just don't don't lose curl and basically getting more or less on the tip of that first finger. But also just let it kind of like roll a little bit on its side so that it's, you know, like put, 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 put your first finger on the second fret of the E string like you're playing that note. That's on what, the E string. On the E string, huh? Right. Now set the other fingers down on, this, on, this, on the A string. Now, is that first finger lying... Can you feel it touching the higher strings? Yes. So as long as you feel it like touching all these guys right here, uh -huh. then that's what will keep that quiet. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what takes care of that. Okay. Right. Now getting back to um, the, the blues here, I heard some space when you changed from one note to the next when you went from the one chord note to the four chord note uh -huh. there's a little bit of space there and there's uh, through all the shifts there's a little bit of space just enough to notice so if you spend some time just practicing those shifts going from yeah. one to the other practicing going one to five now basically right here i'm just like my fourth finger is poised over that note, so I'm just lifting pressure from one to the other. When I go from five to four, watch my left real quick. My first finger is already poised on the, the four chord note, and I'm just lifting up two, three, and four. 